let the ape revolution begin. Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. This is my second favorite movie in the franchise. Well, I guess you could say, theoretically, it's a tie between this one and Escape from the Planet of the Apes. Conquest of the Planet of the Apes basically takes place 10 or 20 years into the future, where baby Milo's now grown up. Armando has now named him Caesar, as I was hoping from the first movie, I mean, not the first movie, the third movie which came to pass. Um, so yeah, after the events of the third movie where Z uh, Zira and Cornelius come to Earth and a deadly virus comes down with them, basically annihilating the dogs and cats that we use as pets that Cornelius would explain later on in that film that will take place later on in the future, which happens in this film. So basically... Apes are the next go-to point because apes has the ability to be smarter and stuff like that. So once they're used as pets, then they're used as servants and other stuff, and then now they're slaves. So basically, you have this other guy who's basically Zelius, Zelius, like a, another asshole in this movie, who's basically like the big Zelius ape in the first movie, and he hates all things about the apes. He knows that something is amiss and that they're going to go bad because he has a sneaky suspicion that the apes, um, Zillius and Cornelius' son, was switched at birth from the last movie, which he was. So, he wants uh, to find Caesar and basically put an end to him because, you know, he has the mind and will to talk and stuff like that. At the same time, you have Mr. McDonald, oh, I like him, he's awesome, <laughs> who um, helps Caesar escape, and of course, after something with, happens with um, Armando, Caesar throws a fit, and we get this awesome, awesome takeover movie. And what, you know what I mean when I say takeover movie. Now... The movie did go through some changes. I, I, I remember hearing that the ending was cut and reshot because the original ending was to have Caesar and the apes slaughter the humans, good and bad, but at the last minute they decided to re-edit the shot and um, redub Roddy McDowell's voiceover, or Roddy McDowell would re-audio, re-record his voice over what he said in the last, in the last little bit of this film to have Caesar throw a little bit of compassion to the human beings. Uh, why? Uh, probably because they want to make a fifth movie. Theoretically, this should be the last movie. Seriously. Not only that, not only would they would have went out on top, this is also, this movie right here also throws a little bit of basis to what will later become the 2011 reboot Rise of the Planet of the Apes that has a similar storyline but a little bit twerked otherwise it would have been the same movie but it's not a remake to this movie it's loosely based off this movie and theoretically how this movie sets up seems like it could be a prequel to the entire franchise although certain aspects of it warrant it not a prequel but I kinda consider it one because it does sets up the first movie and you basically all the everything that went on in the first movie you don't no longer have sympathy for because of this movie but yeah other than that Ronnie McDowell returns as Caesar the last two times he was um in this, these movies he was Cornelius except for the second movie where he wasn't Cornelius but yeah and he all does a good job Ricardo Montalban is only in here for maybe like 20 minutes he's pretty good Still miss that dude though, he was awesome. Other than that, 
Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, I'm going to give it an A+. Plus. Same as the third movie. Two awesome, or well, three awesome movies, really. And I know it's probably most of you guys' personal favorites of the franchise besides the third one. Trust me, I'm with you on that one. So let me know what you guys think about Conquest of the Planet of the Apes down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the fifth one.